Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I got this result from this raw file. I'm going to share a few techniques that I've never shared before that might help take your night sky images to the next level. So to start off with, I'm going to change my color profile to Adobe Standard. It's generally a profile I like to start with. And because the image is slightly dark, I'm going to up the exposure a little bit. And what I like to do with my night sky images, I like to cool it down a lot. As you can see, the, the white balance the camera chose is quite warm, so I'm going to drop that white balance there. Next, I'll go play with the black slider. I want to just lift those blacks a bit. And then bring in some contrast with the white slider. I'm going to hold down Alt when I'm moving the white slider. And you can see a lot of the stars there are starting to blow out. You don't want to take it too far so the landscape blows out, but a couple of blown out stars here and there is not a bad thing because those stars are very bright and there is no detail in those stars obviously so i'm not going to worry about brightening those stars up too much and i'm going to add a little bit of clarity i like adding some clarity to my night sky images and also dehaze dehaze works very well with night sky images it helps to bring in some nice contrast there let's go up these blacks a bit I'm going to drop the white balance a little bit more and then play with the tint. So you can see that's before and after. We've already changed quite a lot of the image. Let's bring in a bit more contrast. And then next I'm going to go down to the calibration tab. I want to see what the blue primary channel does by adding some saturation. I like to mess around with the blue primary saturation slider in the calibration tab as a first starting point for some saturation. So I'm liking what that's doing to the overall image. And then let's just go in to check out the noise. I'm going to turn off sharpening and then add a little bit of luminance noise reduction, not too much. This was shot at ISO 3200, so it's not too noisy. Now, just something to mention, when you're shooting night sky images, you can see the foreground here is sharp and then the skies are slightly, sorry, the stars are slightly out of focus. That's okay because the main focus is obviously on the landscape, but one neat little trick that out of focus stars do to your images is they make the stars almost appear a little bit bigger when they're out of focus. So I leave them as they are. And then sharpening, I'm going to just add a little bit of sharpening, not too much. Use the alt slider to just remove the sharpening from the areas that don't need it. Here, anything that, that is white will be sharpened and anything that is black will not be sharpened. So that's a good sort of starting point there. I'm going to come down to the tone curve and I like to drop down the blacks a bit. So the dark slider come down and then I like to raise the, the shadow slider just a bit there. Don't want those darks to become too blocked up. And then I'm going to add in a little bit more highlights into the image through this light slider here. I generally like to use the lights and the darks mainly. This highlights might drop a little bit there and I feel like the image is becoming a little bit too contrasty in the highlights. So I'll change that there. Let's come in and change the white balance a little bit more, drop it a little bit more. As you can see, it's quite low. It's on 3600 at the moment. And that's looking good. So I'm liking the overall sort of contrast in the image, but I want to work on the colors a little bit. This tree here is a bit too yellow. I want it to be a little bit more warmer to contrast nicely with that sky there. So I'm going to come into the HSL tab here. I'm going to come to the hue. And I'm just going to click and drag on this yellow to make it a little bit more red. As you can see, that's changed it nicely there. There's a before and after. And I'm going to saturate that color a little bit there. Looking good. And I'm liking these green colors on the top of the tree. So I'm going to actually adjust the luminance. I just want to brighten them a little bit. I'm going to zoom in and click and drag just to make them a little bit brighter and perhaps a little bit more saturated. Just add some nice color against that night sky there. Okay, so that's looking good. I might just raise the blacks here a little bit. I'm just going to add two control points there on the tone curve and then just up these blacks ever so slightly. 
you don't want to go too much because then those blacks look grey. Just a little bit there. I think we can add a little bit more tint. So you can see, just adding a little bit of magenta really helps that image pop nicely. There's some nice separation from the sky and from the landscape. And if you look in the before example here, the tree looks warm and the sky looks warm. So that's a very important technique with the night sky images that I like to try implement in my images, is to try separate your subject from the sky there. And being a night sky, I like to make it a lot cooler, perhaps than maybe what it is naturally, uh, but that's just a sort of an artistic liberty that I take in my editing. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast and I can see the whites are starting to block up there. I'm going to drop that white slider there. I'm going to up the exposure a little bit. I think my blacks are sitting there okay. I'm just going to adjust the vibrance and saturation just to see what it does. I think the image is saturated more than enough. Maybe a little bit there. I'm going to try and select subject. So I'm going to actually I'm going to use this object selection. So what you do is click objects under mask. And then I'm, I want to select this tree here. So let's just see how well Lightroom selects this tree. And all the small little leaves in between. So I'm going to draw, draw over the entire tree here. And let's see what subject selection the tree gets from Lightroom. So you can see it's obviously picked up a little bit of that sky there, which I'm not super happy about. So I think I'm going to delete that. Let's try a sky selection. I feel like that did okay. Let's invert that. That's a lot better. So what I want to do is I basically want a selection of this tree. So I'm going to click subtract. I'm just going to get rid of the other areas that I don't want affected. So I'm just going to draw this out, brush this out quickly here. Get rid of that on the selection. I would normally be a little bit more clinical on the selection there, but for the video, I'm just going to do a quick job there. And what I want to do is I just want to drop the highlights of that tree a little bit. It's a very, very important part of the image, but I don't want it to be too bright. So I'm just dropping the highlights of that tree selection there. So this is a before and after. It's a very subtle change, but I feel like it works nicely. I might add some more texture here, so maybe some more clarity. That's before and after. And we'll come into the HSL again. I want to drop the orange color a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking good. Maybe up the saturation just a touch there. And one of the final things I would like to try is some color grading. Now, color grading can bring in some nice color into the sky there. You can see, let's just turn this off and on. It's added a lot of blue there. So if you're finding your sky is very warm, you can bring in some color grading. You don't want to overdo it, obviously, but I'm just going to add in a little bit there, ever so slightly. Maybe some warmth on the highlights for that tree. Maybe not too much. Very subtle change, but I quite like it. And then going to come into the effects tab just to add in a little bit of a vignette. I think that's looking pretty good. Add a little bit of contrast there. So again, that's the before and that is the after. Check out this video next if you want to learn how to add drama to your landscape images in Lightroom.